Well, I've been painting probably for about 17 years since I got my first studio um, with a charity called Artists in Mind and um, I, really la I really love abstract art and I wanted to explore that. I started painting at home actually, I used to do watercolours at home and then I got into glass painting so probably for about the last 25 years I've been exploring different, experimenting really. I don't really know where the inspiration came from, I suppose it just came from seeing other abstract art around and about so um, I did go to college for a very brief period of time so when I was at AIM actually a lot of my inspiration came from other artists that were there because I'd there were some people creating work that I'd never quite seen stuff like it before so we were quite a close community there So this collection is quite vast. I've done about 400 pieces of work all together um, and that's, I, I do struggle with my mental health so there's been days when I haven't done anything um, creative. There's been days when I've forced myself to do something creative because I know it is good for my mental health. So all my artwork is just experiments so I'd really like, uh, I've been talking with uh, Collaborati about doing some workshops or being at like a, having um, an open session where people can come and watch me work Work. And I nearly got round to doing some videos myself on YouTube and Facebook and stuff, but I haven't quite, I, I'm up and down with my confidence, so sometimes I think, oh, that'd be, yeah, I'll do that, and then other times I'm like, no, I don't want to do that at all um, at the moment, but with the support of Collaborati and the other artists and people here, that might be something that might happen in the future. Um, well, I've been supported a lot by uh, the organisation of Collaborata. So Kath and Henry in, in, in particular, Henry's always been really supportive of my artwork and really enthusiastic about it. Kath too. Um, I joined Collaborati in January last year. So I only had a couple of months of actually using the studio space before we hit lockdown. So we'd talked about me having an exhibition um, and then obviously things were up in the air. But, um, you know, Kath's, given me the opportunity to fill this space up with my lockdown, with my isolation session, so I wouldn't be doing this without Collaborati, really. I've, I've always liked doing art from a young age. I was always doodling and colouring and making catalogues of clothes and stuff like that. I wanted to be a fashion designer at one point. Um, then I, I, I was diagnosed with bipolar in 1993 and I started doing watercolours there and then just doing little bits and bats. I didn't really recognise at that point how helpful it was for my mental health until I, um, I went to a I used to belong to an organisation called the Manic Depression Fellowship, Bipolar used to be called Manic Depression a while ago, and someone came and said, it was a guy called John Hull, and he was like, right, we've got studios available for people with mental health problems, and I snapped his hand off, I literally ripped his card out of his hand and rang him the next day and shared a space. So it was really through Artists in Mind that I kind of became more knowledgeable and experienced with how much creativity can help your mental health. And people can come and see me here in Collaborati Gallery 3. Um, just across from the library, the market entrance to the library. I'm going to be, I'm aiming to be here Mondays and Saturdays, 12 till 3. So people can come and say hello to me, they can come and have a look around. I'm possibly thinking about bringing a few little things where I, that I can be working on. So there'll be an element of people being able to look at what I'm doing and, and then go, oh yeah, that looks quite easy, that I might have a go at that. <laughs>